maternal great-grandmother was born in 1915. Her mother was killed, so her and her sister were put in the Tuchnots Point Orphanage in Lebanon. They were eventually found by their father in Aleppo and reunited. My maternal great-grandfather was born in Marash in 1913. He had three older sisters and one adopted brother. When they were eventually in Jebel Duruz, they drank the blood of murdered people to stay strong. He eventually taught himself Armenian. My paternal grandfather was born 1910 in Sepastia. At the age of six, his left eye was taken out by a Turkish soldier for carrying a loaf of bread. My paternal grandmother was born in 1920 in Marash. Her mother was subject to so much trauma, including tattoos, eating the flesh of her sister to survive, being sold as a slave numerous times, that she couldn't eat meat ever again and ended up denying her own children. So my grandmother ended up caring for both her parents and her brothers. The genocide has affected my family in many ways. It's a part of who we are, despite the fact that we're not living in our homeland, and we've lost so much. My family is one of the few that has detailed information on what happened during 1915, during the genocide. They've communicated these testimonies to us at family events. It's not the remembering that's hard for me, it's more being able to talk about and bringing back those memories is in a way traumatizing. Talking about it emotionally affects me greatly. I don't think we'll ever be satisfied, but by educating others and raising awareness, will hopefully get recognition and reparation from the Turkish government. Despite the fact that many survivors have passed away, it's important for our voices to be heard because we represent them, and by speaking on their behalf, hopefully we can come to a resolution so they can rest at peace.